Hello and welcome to my A Plus Scouts build order demo using the interactive build orders which are available on the Definitive Edition Workshop. These were made by Cicero and voiced by me and can be downloaded from the in-game mod browser. I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. I tried to do everything in time with the voice commands so that you can see how following them closely can still lead to an A plus result. One thing that you may notice is that I didn't use my scout once I'd found all of my starting resources. Of course, in a real game you'd want to continue using your scout, but for these build order guides the focus is on perfecting the build itself so that you can memorise it and practice it for real games. Most of the time saving tricks that I'm using is just making the most of queues. Shift queuing villagers to go to the next sheep for example, or queuing actions so that I have no idle time. I'm also making sure to always have something queued in the town centre at all times. It's super important not to let the town centre go idle at any point. This is where you're most likely to drop grades over the course of the build order. I'm also only using some very basic hotkeys here too, and clicking on the UI much more than I could be. The Scouts build order comes in three varieties. Scouts into Fast Castle, Scouts into Archers, and Scouts into Skirms. This first Scouts build follows with a Fast Castle and is most useful in team games. If you're playing in pocket, this is a great build order to hit your opposing pocket if they're being greedy and going for a straight fast castle, or to team up with your flank and double the enemy flank to kill them more easily. This build can also work if you're on the flank yourself, but only if you're fully walled with protected resources and planning to go knights or camels in the castle age. It's usually much more preferable to use scouts into archers or just straight archers in a team game when you're playing flank, but it can depend on the team dynamic and what Civ you and your pocket are playing. Of course all of what I've said so far is mostly applying to team games. In a 1v1 situation it all depends on the map. If you're able to fully wall your map safely securing your resources, then this build order can work to get a faster castle time and take the advantage in the castle age. However, if your map is more open, then this build order is not so useful because you will want to follow your scouts with either skirmishers or archers, otherwise you risk your opponent being able to deny your resources, raid your economy while you're trying to go up to the castle age. If you are looking for the Scouts into Archers or Scouts into Skirmishers build orders, I'll be putting those up on the channel in the next few days. Now send the next two villagers to Bull. Also move two villagers from the boar to build farms. Now send the rest to wood. Make a second lumber camp with the next villager. Now research loom and then click feudal with 22 population. Now move more villagers to wood, so that you have five on each lumber camp. Now 
cái kiến điện thoại tiều phu thảo dân xin chờ lệnh và bọn có thảo dân thảo dân xin chờ lệnh có gì sai bảo bái kiến điện hạ dân nữ xin chờ lệnh dạ bẩm có dân nữ điện hạ có dạ gì sai bảo có dân nữ bái kiến điện hạ dân nữ xin chờ lệnh Now build the barracks before you reach the feudal age. Điện hạ có gì sai bảo? Bái kiến điện hạ Dân nữ xin chờ lại Tì Dạ bẩm Tiều có dân điện hạ có gì sai bảo? Dân nữ đến dân nữ xin làm ngay Có dân nữ Now build a stable with at least two villagers And research both double bit axe and horse collar Dân nữ xin chờ lại at farms with the villagers around the town center every time you have 60 wood. Now start making scouts. Here I actually make the mistake of getting housed, something which the tutorial doesn't remind you about after the first few houses are built before the mill. It costs me a little bit of time, but I compensate for that later, as you will see. The best thing to do is to have one villager dedicated to building houses. This way you can make sure to avoid being housed throughout the game. It's always better to have more houses than less houses, especially since they're so cheap. Bẩm có thảo dân Dân phu Dạ bẩm có dân nữ Dân phu Dân nữ xin chờ lệnh Tiều phu Bái kiến điện hạ Dân phu Điện hạ có gì dân bái kiến điện hạ Dân phu Send the next five villagers to gold. You should also move a couple of your villagers from berries to build new farms. Once you have enough villagers on gold, research wheelbarrow. You will then need to build a blacksmith. Anyway, I skip a farm villager to make up for getting housed earlier since I know I'll have just enough food to click up once wheelbarrow is completed and by forcing the villagers to drop the food I can get the castle age click and the final grade of A+. There's definitely a bit of wiggle room in the build order if an A-plus is possible while also getting housed.
So to download the mod and try it for yourself, go to the main menu, click on mods, click on browse mods, and then search for the interactive build order guide. Just searching interactive should do. Click on subscribe and make sure it's authored by Cicero. This will then download and once it's finished downloading, make sure to restart your game. Once your game's restarted, click on standard game and then choose game mode custom scenario and then select the build order that you would like to try from the list. With a bit of practice and a little bit of perseverance, you too can get an A+. I'll be uploading more videos in the coming days showing how to get an A+, in all of the other build orders as well. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I will see you next time.